So I want you to check this out. Look at this. See that? How many cap lights do you know that can do that? It's got a motion sensing thing on it. Think of the implications of this, not having to actually touch anything to activate a motion sensor. Basically, you wave your hand, you can turn on light or turn it off any which way you like. What's happening guys, Mike Moo here. This is the Claymore Cap On 120H cap light with double beam feature, 500 lumens of power output is dust and waterproof, and it also has a bunch of other features that could be useful when you're camping, out adventuring, or just basically day-to-day -day use. Now, you don't actually have to use it on a cap, but it does have a unique clip that allows you to go ahead and attach this as I have it right here on my cap. Now, what makes this particularly special and above and beyond all the other lights that you've probably ever seen is look how compact this is. This charges via USB-C and is so small that you wouldn't really have any problem sticking out on a hat or a cap. And um, with the output at up to 500 lumens of brightness, it features three different color modes and five preset levels that you can actually infinitely adjust the levels uh, up and down by holding down a couple of buttons and uh, charges in two hours and allows you to use it for a really pretty long length of time. Really depends on what brightness level that you have. All right, it's pretty dark outside. I'm gonna turn on the cap on light. As you can see, that is pretty bright. Again, let's do that. That's SOS. This is dimmest. It's pretty dim and then gradually brighter. I think that's the brightest. Yeah, that's pretty bright. That is 500 lumens. You can see it's pretty far out there. Now I'm gonna switch over to the, uh, the red light. So this is red. As you can see it doesn't really go that far, but it's definitely very visible. But as far as the beam spread, it doesn't go as far, all right. And this is the, uh, the basic light here. As you can see, it's very wide. It doesn't go very far, but it's definitely enough to see close by. See? And that's it. It's, it's definitely enough, especially for something this small. There are basically two buttons on the light, right? So there's a power button and then a mode functionality button. So. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the automatic sensing button by holding down the function button for two seconds. There's actually an indicator on here whether or not the sensor function is on. To use this, it's really simple. I just press the power on button and that turns it on. It turns on the dual beam. You see that? Dual beam, it's more of a whitish light. Uh, it's not pure. I don't know what the, the uh, K value of it, but it's, it's pretty bright. Now, if I want to adjust the brightness level, um, I can actually have five preset settings. I just double press, I mean, just hold down the power button and press this left function button and it'll cycle through the different f power levels that it has. Or if I want to just automatically adjust the brightness, I could just hold down that button, hold down both buttons and it'll just dim or go bright all the way until, you know, it'll just cycle be between little less bright or more bright. And that's, I mean, you couldn't ask for too much more. Uh, I suppose they could add a little function dial to let you rotate to adjust the brightness, but then you add a little bit more complexity here. This has this little built-in clip. As you can see, you can adjust it any which way. That's very useful, and I feel like the tension is just about right, but you can actually just adjust the tension yourself later with a screwdriver, and uh, this will just clip onto the you know, pieces of clothing or basically my hat. And then finally, they also give you a little lanyard that you can actually attach right here to go ahead and clip it as a, uh, a lamp or something, any way which you like. Over on this side, you actually have USB charger plug, which uh, they do give you a standard USB-C cable. And of course, the charge time is three hours, like I mentioned before. Now you notice at the top over here, there's actually a set of lights. So this is one of the light modes that this has built in. So in order to get to that though, uh, I do have to take a look at the manual because the settings on here are a little bit different. 
So if I press it once, it just switched to whatever mode that I have, which is the dual beam. Now if I press it, if I press and hold it down, it does SOS mode, see that? So this is blinking SOS universally. Now if I press this, okay, so it's on right now and I press the function button, it'll switch to between different modes. Now this is a red light, okay, this is great for night light usage, so it doesn't affect your night vision too much. And it's also really good, like if I have this just facing the back, if I'm riding a bike or something, it'll have a nice red light. And I press it again, and as you can see, now there's a diffuse light that comes out from the top. This is great for reading maps, or just you want to just broad light show, showing. So if I want to just look at something down below, I want a broad light, less focused light, I just clip this onto my cap like so, and just have it face downwards. Uh, of course, I could just have it face forward too. So if I have it face forward, then it's a nice broad beam light to see it, the whole path like right around you. And that's not the brightest mode, of course. The brightest mode is, of course, through the two dual beams right here. I believe it puts out up to 250 lumens each, maxing out 500 lumens. Uh, it's very good uh, situational use uh, scenarios that is offered on here. Now what's interesting is the SOS mode does not actually function with red beam because the red light, LED light, is only smack in the middle and is not as bright as the rest of these. But it's great for visibility. Now why is this perfect for people who are out adventuring? Well, for the most part, it's supposed to be really water resistant. So if you are taking this out and uh, you're going on a hiking trip or just basically you need something a little bit more rugged, uh, this will do the job because it's water resistant and it's dust resistant and you don't actually have to change batteries. You just plug in USB-C, uh, plug in there to charge, which is really not too hard to find. Now, since it has 180 degrees of light adjustment, there's a lot of versatile angles that you can use. Uh, there's some pictures on some people using it on the web, on the link down below, where you can see people are using it out mountain biking, hiking, uh, going outdoors. And then finally, um, you got the lantern clip option, which allows you to clip on the included carabiner onto this 0.13 pound or 59 grams ultra compact light to use it um, hanging up as a lantern uh, for on the go use. So I think this is perfect for people who are photographers who are landscape photographers or if you just need to look at inside your bag in a relatively darker area and find that missing battery or cable, something like that. Um, this is better than any other portable flashlight that I've seen. Uh, for those purposes, and for that reason, I'm uh, I'm giving it a really high recommend for anybody to think about including this in their everyday carry uh, kit when you're out and about. This retails for fifty nine ninety nine. It's available right now. Check out my link down below. I'd appreciate it. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.